Beaverton Drive, we'll be doing a replacement of a furnace, potentially an air conditioner at the same time. Um, old 86, 80 per, I'm sorry, 60% efficient furnace, we'll be changing out with an 80. Um, so a couple things that pop out here right off the beginning is there's no shutoff valve for the furnace outside of the unit. So we're gonna have to install a shutoff valve there. Um, we'll break it at the union, um, build back to wherever we need to build back to, um, and then put our, our shutoff valve on. Um, flue pipe, we'll go back with uh, the same flue pipe. We'll put new five inch in from the flue tee over there in the corner back down into the top of the new unit. Um, actually, we'll do four inch. We'll do five inch and then do a reducer over there at the T and then four inch back down into the new unit. Condensate drain line runs out of the front of the unit and then around to the back and then it comes underneath the unit to the floor there. We'll just run new vinyl tubing um, or actually we'll leave the condensate drain line if they're not changing out the air conditioner. But if they are changing out the air conditioner, we'll run new vinyl tubing down to the floor drain on the floor. Our turn drop, I'm pretty sure it's can, it can stay. Um, we'll put our five inch April Air Media cabinet down there on the side. Um, electric is all good and refrigerant lines are good. If they do end up changing the air conditioner, we can reuse the existing refrigerant lines. Um, you do have to come through finished space, so make sure you bring plenty of tarps to put down on the floor and cover all the carpet. And then over here is the panel box in this closet. So our air conditioner is a double 40 amp breaker up here on the top. And it is a Siemens load center.